and brush some more oil on the inside of this so it slides on easily like before. Line up the key. There we go. Put the installer on. So slide that on through there. Put that in there. That's the 5 eighths. Just take that on in. And get a wrench, 9 sixteenths and a half inch for that. I meant to say 5 eighths for that. 9 sixteenths for there. tighten it, that's why you just use one hand. Okay. Put some oil on there so you don't chew up your threads. Just like that. Put some oil on there. Yeah, you don't really need it there. Slide that on in. Beautiful. Tighten it up with your Ten inch, not too too much, just snug. Get your runner bearing, whatever that's called, the bearing side towards the nut, flat side towards the damper. Put the nut on. Beautiful. And you get your 12 inch guy. And you just tighten it on. And I'm not going to worry about lining it up since it's already lined up from putting it on previously. You saw that video. It looks beautiful going on. No dimpling, no nothing. I don't need a flashlight today because I have the reflected light from my pickup there. It looks beautiful. It's going on perfectly. Seated on there, taking care not to scratch the face of your pulley, especially after you just painted it, after having scratched it up. <laughs> okay, it's going on there nicely. moving that shouldn't move. I'm going to get over on this side since I'm right handed. Still going. 
Now this is starting to twist now, so I'm going to back that off and tighten this back up here. Take that in. See that pulley just moved. That's on there tight. Beautiful. I just realized I have to take this off again because I have to tighten up the timing cover um, bolts in another 30 minutes. So I have to take this off again. So there you go. So I've just untighten that and this is all there is to pulling it off nope